You have to understand that the disability community had been told we'd never get this done. Here you had a group of ragtag people who couldn't walk, couldn't talk, couldn't see, uh, really creating the most significant piece of civil rights legislation since the Civil Rights Act of 1964. lift my pen to sign this Americans with Disability Act and say, let the shameful wall of exclusion finally come tumbling down. God bless you all. The law gave us the legal tool and protections that we hadn't had, and that has been absolutely critical to our forward progress. But it was equally important as a symbol to us of what we could do as a community. ADA 25 has given us an opportunity through the energy of over 200 partners who have identified a broad agenda of ways that we can help to break down barriers to full inclusion in our society. Chicago is a wonderful uh, community. There's a lot of strength and community involvement and we'd like to get businesses involved at a much higher level so they can incorporate disability inclusion into their workplace. One of the things that I heard today at the conference that we're holding here at Rush is that as we celebrate the 25th anniversary, I think we would all agree that yes, we've made progress, um, but we still have a lot of work to do. I think in terms of best practices that we hope to be at the forefront of. So the next frontier is going to be to raise the awareness of the importance of having people with disabilities in all facets of American society. That having a disability is truly part of the human experience, but there's also skills, perspectives, and differences that people with disabilities bring that actually make us stronger, better. What will you do? Que va a ser usted? What will you do? What will you do? We are greater together. <laughs>